up, everybody? It is Fight Week again, live tomorrow night on ESPN Plus pay-per-view from Fight Island, Abu Dhabi. Ladies and gentlemen, I have been so excited for this main event for a very long time. I predicted this is going to be the fight of the year. Adesanya versus Costa. Both guys undefeated going into this title match. It doesn't get any better than this. Co-main event, Reyes versus Blakovich for the vacant light heavyweight title. A couple things I want to point out. Prelims start at 7 o'clock on the East Coast. Main card starts at 10 o'clock on the East Coast. The prelims are on ESPN2 and ESPN+, Plus, and obviously the main card, ESPN+, Plus pay-per-view, a couple of fights you might not know about. Let's start right here. Ibrahimov versus Marquez. If you have not seen Ibrahimov fight, then you cannot miss this. He comes out with an insane pace each and every time with this live by the sword, die by the sword mentality that always produces incredible action. He is facing Muay Thai specialist Marquez as he makes his UFC debut. Marquez has finished eight of his nine wins, and with the aggressive nature of both of these guys, this might end up being an early contender for fight of the night. Another fight you might not know about. Rydell versus Silva. This is the main event on the uh, prelims. Brad Rydell, teammate of Adesanya, and like Adesanya, he's a world-class kickboxer who left that sport with almost 60 wins. Now he's 8-1 in MMA with five knockouts. Rydell has a nasty technical brawling style, and his forward pressure is just too much for most people to handle. His first octagon appearance was a fight of the night win against 12-2 Jamie Malarkey. Then he beat the ultra-tough 14-3 Magomed Mustafaya. For his third UFC fight, he's getting in there against an even more experienced fighter, Alex Da Silva, who's got 21 wins and only two losses. Da Silva got an incredible 95% finish rate, and he can be a very fast starter. 17 of those wins have ended in the first round. Da Silva is a talented Muay Thai striker in his own right. He's got 13 knockouts, and he has an unbelievable chin. He's never been knocked out in his entire six-year pro career. But if he can't hang with Rydell standing, he's going to be looking to take this thing down to the ground and get his eighth submission win. With an exciting fight and an impressive win, one of these guys could break into the top 15. If you don't know, now you know.